Hey, this is Aaron Taus. We're at Brooklyn Chop House with owner Stratus, about to eat some steak. So tell me a little bit about what we got here. This is a lamb gyro dumpling with a Greek yogurt tzatziki. Uh, this is the pastrami. This is a lobster spring roll, and these are French onion soup dumplings. So what I've done is I've taken the traditional steak, like this 45-day dry-aged steak, and then I married it with my favorite Chinese dishes, clashed the two cultures together, and that's how we created Brooklyn Chop House. Okay, I mean, the pastrami's got the old New York feel yes. with the Chinatown influence. And what we do is stay true to the sauces. This is the Russian dressing okay. that would go with the Reuben. This is the, the, the tzatziki which goes with the, uh, that's the Greek yogurt yeah. with the cucumber. That goes with the lamb gyro, which is my grandmother's recipe. Where should we start? I mean, yeah. the, I love French yeah. onion soup, oh, so I'm really this. curious. So you put the dumpling on top of the spoon. Okay. Do and I you put it off the top to make sure okay. the temperature, I don't, I don't even use soy sauce for this because it's so juicy with the sauce, with the, with the broth. It's kind of like a wet pizza. <laughs> one bite? Yeah, no, I'm gonna have one with you. <laughs> I mean, I love French onion soup and I love soup dumplings, so. That's What's not to like, yeah, exactly. as my Jewish but, grandmother would say. Exactly. Try this one. This is yeah, really, so, really special. Okay, this, is, this is what's interesting to me. So my dad... This is the pastrami. My dad grew up Lower East Side. Oh, there you um, go. Jewish, Russian, and I'm actually going to go visit my aunt. She still lives down here. But I mean, whenever I'd come down to visit, we'd go to like Katz or of course. Second Ave. And so pastrami is like my, so, so my see, one. See what you think of this. See, there's the spicy mustard there. It's really super hot. Ooh, okay. So, and we also got Russian dressing too, right? Yeah, that's going to be for the, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the okay. mustard for the okay. pastrami. Very hot. Like horseradish hot? Very hot, yeah. Is that mm -hmm. cool? That's really good. Watch, I want you to try this one because you just said Lower East Side. That's, that's the Reuben. Oh, this is the Reuben. Yeah, yeah. And what, what goes? Right here the, with the Russian. Okay, classic. Ooh. See, so I think oh. I might like that one even more. There you go. No, Thanks. no, better, better, better prop. Yeah. Grab there we Thanks. go. So this is um, the lamb gyro. So okay. It's basically my grandmother's recipe. I've taken the lamb, the fresh mint, the lemon grind, the dill, the oregano. Please try. Let's, let's give it a shot. Yeah, this one I'll join you in. You see the fresh mint on top? It's really good, right? So we got the uh, star of the show here. This is the 45 day dry aged porterhouse. It's a three pound steak. And you can just see by the, by, by the bone on how the aging process has really kicked in. And once you trim off the aging part of the meat on the top, it really becomes butter. You can literally cut this with a butter knife. Excuse my ignorance. The porterhouse has two different cuts, right? Yeah, so What's this the, is the okay. filet mignon. Okay. And this is the New York strip. Got it, okay. You can actually use the butter knife. It's that soft. Yeah, huh? it's soft. It's this just, looks so you can good. Use a knife. Oh my god! Yeah, you can use your plate. Yeah, go right from the plate. Yeah, <laughs> Knock not? it out. <laughs> no, no rules. Isn't that great? So buttery. Isn't that cool? It's it's really done well. I mean, got you, the crunch on the outside yeah, too. Yeah, that's that's also the equipment, but the aging gives it that texture on the outside. Now you you'll try the, the this New York strip on okay. this side. It's not going to be as soft as the filet mignon, but you'll taste that the, the flavors are just abundant. So I grew up not really eating a lot of steak. My dad kind of had heart trouble, so he tried to avoid it. Uh -huh. But so I actually am kind of new to the steak game. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. New York ship is always a little bit more, especially at this, this thickness. But I think we're getting by with yeah, this. Yeah, we don't need it. It's fine. Stratus, I'm full. <laughs> my, my belly's happy. Good, yeah, pleasure. Thanks Thank for you. coming. Yeah, thanks pleasure. for having me. This is Aaron Taus, and my new single, Saboteur, is out right now, so check that out. <laughs>